Okay, we have done this one. Now we will do another one. You can see it here. Okay, so we have blue sky and this time I want to make the sky not too, not too cold. I will use, I think this, not silo blue. I will try this blue and uh, this color is already dried up. You can throw it away. You can still keep on using but uh, Okay. We are doing good enough for protecting our environment. So use some of this blue. I think this is a right blue. Oh, a little bit. And this blue. What's the name of the blue car? Uh oh light blue. What's the name of this blue? Cerulean blue. Cerulean blue. And maybe we want to have some um, ultramarine blue. Maybe, not sure. Maybe. Ultramarine. Little bit of it. Like this one. <laughs> Okay, and we need white. We need a lot of white. And uh, painting is always about white. This one, we will have fun with it and get rid of uh, this. It's one of my favorite part of uh, a little booger of the of the paint anyway so we can see if we if we take a look of this one we oh, oh sorry we can see this painting let's take a look of this piece of painting where is it this one, we want to do this one, right? Yes, this is the one. And uh, <clears throat> the sun is here, so we put a lot of white here. A lot of white here. And uh, a layer of um, black, dark brown, black, gray, and then with some strokes of golden with some strokes of golden uh, grass and then green and black so roughly is this this is the light point so we will start with a light point with a lot of uh, with uh, a lot of uh, um, okay so I put with a lot of um, a lot of uh, white and then we cover it with um, with uh, with gray and black. So things number first: clean up your brush, wash it, and dry it. So things not useful we will put it away clean up a little bit of the workspace will make your life so much easier white white a plate for my brush uh oh oh bad uh oh this brush is already damage it so we will start with white how about this one no I didn't clean up well uh -oh. I 
have to use hot water to wash to 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 wash so we will use this one so white here light blue So this one in the sky there is nothing there is only blue sky so it's better that uh, you make it right from the beginning there is nothing to cover it up so one layer of light blue better than not enough right make it flat this beautiful autumn late summer early autumn sky takes time, not very much you can do. See, that's enough and then we will have gray color on it. Gray grass, then we do not need to waste our blue color, light blue, and uh, darker blue, starting from blended, slowly.
So one time, we go it all the way through. Clean up a little bit. Now we will do the white part. Okay, the sky, we are done, and now we will work on the gray part. So the gray part, I will use raw amber, raw amber, and uh, let me use another brush. There are some white in it. Just dilute it a bit. So it's uh, just a uh, a black that is uh, not as black as black okay you know what I'm trying to say I'm saying you want to have a black but not totally black be brave and use a lot of it You go to use it, you got to use it, don't worry.
you do not want to make the land so smooth you want to make it a little bit tilt it oh. okay so we are done with these kind of stroke but grass how do grass grow they grow from bottom to up so you want to do some of these strokes and it's not always straight so at least you are producing the texture of of the grass okay and you want some lighter texture and let's fix and there are some we put some yellow and white a little bit of yellow and brown and white this color looks like the right color a little bit of this more of the white okay Not in the rush. the sun's light place little bit more of yellow little bit more of white uh -oh. just a teeny tiny little bit more that's a little bit too much
the grass is not flat so you want to have the texture of not so flat then make it directionally right put more light it means we need more lighter color little bit of red white here and there Okay, this is the grass, some lighter, some darker, and now we are coming to the tree. So the tree, we will use black color, this is amber, we need some real black. Okay, that black is used up. So the first tree here, second tree does not have a branch, so first tree here. Second tree here, and then the third tree is a relatively thin tree, so we want to make this equally thin. But not so thin. This tree is a uh, is a freedom style tree. So it is a 
here we do another tree here we do another lower tree it will be almost all colored okay okay now we start to tap This tree is almost all covered. We just need a good shape of the tree. This one, we do not see anything of the tree. It's just the shape. better a little bit dry so that you can control it better actually if you get it too wet it's hard to control you can always add different layer but once you make it no room then you cannot add any layer so give yourself enough room to work on and do not make it too dry too too wet now we need to, now we need to add some green because here and there we still can see some green It's all separate. This is not good. You have to combine some place, some place individual, some place is is a cluster. some green as a very light green teeny tiny little bit of green and 
you can almost not distinguish this green. The place close to the sunshine has some green. The place get sunshine has green. Does it make sense? The place get sunshine. So you can make the layer of your leaves. Right. It's more interesting to have different layer of green and something behind do not get the green green on the this green is a little bit too much we can fix it a little bit This one should have uh, its share of green, the layer of green here, layer of green, so we can mix this, some layers, good. Okay, now we need very teeny tiny little very very thin black for the bread can you see it You do not want the tree to be disconnected here and there. You need some of this connection. And the tree should be thicker. So the grass, you want to produce some texture here and there, make it not too boring, not too, right?
add some highlight here. They are not necessarily in the same layer. You can make your layering more interesting. highlight here and there. Don't be afraid. You want it to stand out, do you? Okay, I think uh, this is as much as I am able to do. Okay, we are using it three times and this tape, I think the tape has done its duty. Mm-mm-mm. 